want to ask, he's been deviating. I like to hear a woman's view, yeah. Yeah. I yeah. wasn't Yeah, yeah. So I would like, I would I like to hear, I would like to hear the woman's view because, just like my sister mentioned, I mentioned earlier, I'll explain it to you if you a want woman, to this woman's skin has been beaten so badly. Hold on, hold on, just, just a minute, just a minute. Just a minute. Beaten so bad, badly bad. that Aisha, um, she looked at her and said she's never seen the way um, the believing women, which is the, the Muslims, she's never seen um, women treated so badly. No, 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 she didn't see women, what you, believing women suffering. Yeah. The suffering of believing women. What did I so just now say? the suffering of believing women can be what? Like in England, right. the suffering of belie believing women in England, anyone who wears a hijab, my sister, huh? she can't go outside at late night right. because she suffers. Why? Because of the, the idea of the people in this community, if they see a Muslim person, they might attack her. That's the suffering she was talking so about. So are you justifying what happened then? Justifying what? What am I justifying? She's talking about the suffering of the believing women, the believing women. How do you know the reason? How do you know the reason? Yeah. 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 No, no, okay, okay. She's gonna read, we're gonna read yeah, that. We'll read the context sure. and everything. Sure. Because, because if this, I, I think this is something because that a woman came is very important to talk she, about. She had marks on her arm, yes, she did. But these marks were from a man who had beaten her. I, okay, if it was that he beat her, no, no, it he was didn't, wrong. She doesn't want to have sex with the guy. Why is he beating her? It was wrong of him to do that. But then what, what, what did Muhammad say? What did Muhammad say? Okay, we're going to read it. We're okay. going to read what Muhammad said. Because you have better moral values than Muhammad. That's my point. I don't, I don't. You don't what, look, what you just said, the reason why I know he's the, he's he's the best, the best of all people. But you, you've just said something that would make me no, more my, likely to, to listen believe, to what you say than Muhammad. No, everything I believe, my morals Listen, we're going to see what God's Muhammad says. Well. No, Muhammad, no, Muhammad treats women like trash. And I'm that's trash why I can't follow him. him. I'm trash compared to him. But that's, he, the, that's another problem. See, you're, you're saying you're trash compared to Muhammad. Of course. Yes? Right? Of course. This is a man that killed many people in his lifetime. For what? This is a man that had sex with a nine year old child. This is a man he that allowed people to get be beaten. Yes? This is a, this is a man. Is out of context. The, Completely out of all of this. this is, and and you're, you, you, have to be fair. you expect no, me you to, to be fair. put him no, over you. You have to be fair. When you say that, you should say, this is a man that married a nine year old. Not just sex. Did he have sex with her? Yes or no? But why don't you men but mention you, the marriage? You, in your mind, no, in your conscience, you, why do you, you know how I ugly don't only have sex with, with my wife. I, I go out to meals with That's her. That's my point. You're better role model than your prophet. So You're better role model than your prophet. You're better than this your prophet. This is level. legit. This is like you haven't ridiculous. Gone, like, deep into actual, like, of Islam. You're just saying Muhammad is Islam, he's yeah. Islam, etc. Like, do, do you want to get, get that text from me? I mean, we'll just read it out. You'll never get into it deep. Do you want to... Yeah, come, come, just come a bit closer. So, yeah. Sahih Bukhari, saying so of Muhammad, volume 7, book number 72, hadith number 715. Okay, just run. So, narrated Ikrimah, Rufai, Rufai's divorce wife, Whereupon Abdurrahman uh, bin Azur Kazari married her. Aisha said that lady come wearing a green veil of her husband and showed her a green spots on her skin, on her skin, which caused by beating. Okay, she's wearing a green dress and her skin is greener than her dress. Okay. It was the habit of the ladies to support each other. So when Allah's apostle came, Aisha said, I have not seen any woman suffering as much as the believing woman. Look at her skin is greener than her cloth. Why she's suffering? It's not because she forgot to buy her hot chocolate. She's suffering because her husband beat her and her skin is greener than her dress. But so that's awful. That that's what it says. Beat. Yes, it says it caused by beating. Okay? You can just go to the Google, go to the Sahih Bukhari, volume 7, book Remember, number 72. Just a moment. So, yeah, 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 no, yeah, yeah, just, okay, just, just a moment. I, I haven't finished. I haven't finished. Okay? Actually, let me put this one here and then um, so I'll finish. So, which has been caused her by. So I read the part where it says that has been caused her by... So Aisha said, I have never seen any woman suffering as much as the believing woman. Look at her skin is greener than her clothes. When Abdurrahman heard that his wife had gone to the Prophet, 
He came with his two sons from another wife. She said, by Allah, I have done no wrong to him, but he's impotent and he's um, as useless to me as this, holding and shoving her fringe of her garment. Abdurrahman said, by Allah, Allah's apostle, she said, she has told a lie. I am a strong and I can satisfy her. So man, she's saying, he's not, he, he says, no, I am strong enough to have, have sex with her. She says, look at my skin, okay? Uh, she's, she's telling a lie, uh, I read no, that part. I am strong and I can dis satisfy her, but she's disobedient to me and wants to go back to her husband, her previous husband. Allah's messenger said, okay, now, he says, a woman who is beaten and then husband is there and then husband's two children, husband's two children from the previous marriage is there, okay? This is what Muhammad says. If. If that is, if that is your intention to go back to your husband, therefore you don't want to have a sex with this guy, then know that it is unlawful for you to remarry your first husband unless Abdul Rahman had a sexual intercourse with you. Yeah. Then the Prophet saw the two boys with Abdul Rahman and, and then asked, are those yours? On, yeah, that's kind of how it is. No, 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 no you should stop. That's very smart of you. Continue, please. So what happened was, uh, uh, yeah, so, so what happened here? Yeah, so basically what had happened was, so excuse me, no, 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 excuse me, excuse me. So Why she's this? Just what? So if you want to consummate your marriage with Rafia, the one you want to go back to, you have to. Whenever you get married, you have to consummate the marriage. We know, we know about that. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So, so you know that. Said, yeah, okay, let me just. Um, so, so you, you said you were a couple. For you. He said you are a couple. Your intention is unlawful for you. If you want to get married to so and so, you have to consummate your marriage with Abdurrahman. Then Abdurrahman was seen with two boys. She, the prophet asked, "Are these your two boys?" Yes, these are my two boys. Meaning what? He's not impotent. Okay. She didn't want to mention yeah. that part. No, actually, no. That yeah. wasn't that, that wasn't the point because was my fault. So let me let me just understand this. This yeah. 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 yeah, let me. What was the problem? Okay, let so yeah, let the, the, the I, the sir, sir, can not, I explain this? No, please, no, and then you step in. No you step in if I'm misrepresenting. Okay, no Sorry, I'm gonna use both of you as a guinea pig. Okay, okay. You you both married, and then he divorced you. Yeah. Okay, you want to go back to him. Yeah. In that stage, oh, just yeah. Yeah. yeah, you have to not sleep with him. You have to have sex with him. Yeah, yeah. that's what she meant. For, she, but for she you to, to make it in a nice way. Sir, you want to use I, sir, it's okay. It's yeah. okay. Sir, that's I what? think I think Allah give her brain and she can practice Forgive that. Me, okay, no I'll tell her. And you want to go back to your husband, but you have to marry with her, with him first, and you have to have sex with him. And then this guy divorces you, and then you go back to your first husband. So first thing, before I move to the hadith, do you think is that okay? Would you do that? Is that your rule or God's rule? It's God's rule. To have sex and to sleep with him first, and then... Yeah, if you want to go back to your husband, Sister, you must have a sex is, with him to, to use, go back to your husband. To use your, uh, so your would you would you love to do that? To that? Would you be okay with that as a but as a woman? I don't think it's like for me to go back to to sleep with him. I think it's just the rule when you get with someone, you need to like sleep with them once, course, you know. You so so to repeat that once. for me. It's not that the way that I see it is I don't have to sleep to hit with him. Just, it's not like you're putting in the kind of context that like yeah. he has to use me for me to get back to him. Yes. But it's like I'm also using him that, by sleeping with him. And if no, I sleep with him, oh, like you. then there are certain emotions that might be stirred by me sleeping with him. Okay, yes. but as soon as so I'm your intention, yes. that, excuse me, yes. what's like, your name, ma'am? Hannah. Hannah. My name is Hatun. Nice to meet you. Your intention is you want to go back to him, okay? okay. But you cannot go back to him unless you have sex with him. So that's the Muhammad's teaching, and that's Allah's teaching in Surah 2, 230. Yes, yes. So would you practice that? That's yes, yes and no if question. If it was the law, then yeah. Yes. So you would practice that, just yes. a moment. Yeah. As a first husband, yeah. okay, I'm not going to ask him. I'm going to ask you because you are. This is, she's your wife. If your wife, if your wife to come back to you, let's say you have an argument, okay? And you say you divorced her after the argument. For you to get her back, she has to go and sleep with someone else. Which Would argument you, was this? Was this the first argument? This first is argument the we have, we divorce. 
Sorry? No, this is after you divorced her with the three talaq. Okay? Yeah. No, you want her back. I fully just realize just that I... So, 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 just a moment. So, no, no, just no, no. You're skipping no, the third you talaq. Want. Do you have any so idea I, I, the impact no, of the third no, talaq? No, yeah. So, yeah. I, that's what, what is my... That's my question. Now, you divorced realize. her. You divorced her with the yeah, third talaq. Fully realizing so, no. that for me to get her back, she has to sleep with him. Yes, yes. 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 So, are, are you okay with that? No, no, no. I would not reason? give the talak if I was okay with yeah. that. So you wouldn't would, give the talak? Do you think I want to give but my wife this lady, to him? But this lady, your wife, but Hannah, is rule. quiet. No, no, no. Sir, suppose just a moment. Sir, just a moment. Sir, just a moment. Sir, just a moment. Sir, just a moment, sir. Sir, just a moment. Sir, just a moment. Sir, just a moment. Just a moment. Let's, let's calm down. Let's She's, calm down. She doesn't want to practice that, but as a husband, you are quite okay for you to pronounce the three third talak and then divorce her and then for you to take her back you are quite happy for her to have sex with someone else according to Mohammed. So you wouldn't, so you wouldn't say if you say the talaq, okay, let's say you did the three talaq. That means it's sir, from his mind. Sir, just a moment. Okay. Just a moment. Don't you think there are the better ways for you to reconcile? Well, now so you're looking for better ways. Better What's the better way? What's the better, better way? Please In human so marriage is hard. It yeah. is hard. Yeah, yeah, okay? Yeah, we understand that. And then you have fight and then you divorce your wife. Yeah. Why Allah, with all of his wisdom, doesn't give you another another alternative and asking to your wife whom you are divorcing, it is the, not you know the wife who is divorcing you. You are the one who is divorcing Send your wife. That's not for us okay. to answer. And then your wife you needs to, to go and God. sleep with the stranger, have, have a sex with the stranger and she then come back to, to you. She wants us to the answer reason why questions. Is the, answers for I mean, God. But the reason why it is is because like in Islam, right, you don't touch like another man before you get married. Of course. But then when you get married, that's like, not true. You're not huh? meant to, you're not that's meant to. That's not true, but uh, that's, uh, that's, that's Islamic, that's not but make your point, I will respond to that. No, no, sorry, what's not true? But no, no, that's, that's true. Let's, you're not meant to have intercourse before marriage. Let's take it point, 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 point by point. You're not meant to, like, have physical relations <laughs> with a man yes. before you get married that in Islam. That people, is true. People have flaws, they don't always carry that out perfectly, but in principle, they're not meant to touch another man. Yes. But then when they get married, like, sex is very... It's there for a reason because it ignites your emotions. So, you know the reason why that this rule is in place. Sir, so can you allow her friends, to finish, example, please? Now, I can, marry can you allow her to finish your point? So I can just go I'm sorry that your brother else. doesn't allow you to finish that your point, but I love to hear your point. That wouldn't be fair. It wouldn't be fair for me to marry I'm someone, woman, and then just play, play the around with the her. The sex there is used as a tool <laughs> because when you have sex, like you get more like emo like attached to someone else emotionally, you like them more. But if you don't touch them, then it's easy for you to just be like. Go Stay away, away from, from them, them. Yes, to divorce course. them. Yeah. Well, like, so that sex will kind of make you aware, make you think whether you should leave them or not, yes. like, in that way, you know? Yes. Because I might never have sex with him, That's but I sex with him, I'm in love with him, you know? And I'm like, oh my God, like, then I see how these lines, because, like, when women are touched, they feel special, they feel important, they feel all these special, these different things, you know? Yeah. So if I never touched them and I walked away, like, and, then, and then I'd be thinking, oh, maybe I should have, maybe I should have tried this, maybe I should have, but if I have the sex with someone, like, okay, like, I have a once, I concentrate the marriage, and I'm like, I don't want this at all. I don't want him, I don't want this, I don't want anything, and I'm going to walk away. Yeah. I think that's why that's there. For those course, for that say, that's, so, that's, that's from her Sir, point sir, point sir, point sir point can, point I, can I respond what she said, and then I'll give you time to respond. So, I am, I, where are you from now? Ireland. Ireland. Like, Northern Ireland? Southern Ireland? Southern Ireland. I'm from Turkey. So, uh, uh, so let me, so let me ask you. Uh, did you convert to Islam? No. You were born as a Muslim. Okay. I know exactly what she's going to do. So, Surah two, two hundred thirty. Okay. And if she has divorced her, if he has divorced her. Okay, then she is not lawful for him afterward until she marries a husband other than him. And if he divorces her, there is no blame upon them for returning to each other if they think that if they think that they can keep the limits of Allah. Those are the limits of Allah which makes clear to the people who know. Okay? So he divorced you, okay? In the Arabic, it doesn't say the third time, but sake of the argument, third time. 
Now, you have to go and sleep with someone else as the hadith I read it to you, okay? <laughs> so, and I am very disappointed you don't think there is any problem with that. Even though you say, you, even though you, sir, I know Islam doesn't teach any respect to the woman, especially to non-Muslims, but sake of your sister here, can you please not hackle when I am making my points? And then when it comes your turn, I will give you time to speak. So when it comes, then don't speak then. So for you to reconcile the marriage which you were divorced, you must go and have sex with someone else, not only marriage. You already identified me that sex makes something intimate. But she can what? stay single after as well. She can go and be single. Of course she can. Of course she can go and stay single. Yeah, of course. But okay. if her intention, uh, uh, if she wants to go back. So, to sorry, where are you from? Bosnia. Bosnia. So if your intention, if your intention to go back to your first husband, I'm sure it is the same in Bosnia as in Turkey. The, being divorced is very bad in Turkey. I am assuming it's same in Bosnia because we, ca we, ca we come from the same cultural topic, cultural sites. So, being divorced and then your husband is asking, let's fix it and then go back together. It is your will to go back, but you just can't go back. You have to have sex with someone else. Yes. So, Okay. So just, so just more. Why is I am saying, I am saying, I am saying that as very, very ugly, very, very ugly, because it is the man who is divorcing you. It is the woman who must go and sleep around. That is, I think, very degrading woman, as well as taking the value and dignity of the woman. So that's my first point. My second point is, my second point is, I am sure that old enough Muslim to know, for woman cannot divorce with the three talaq, you have to go through the Sharia. If Sharia allows you, you can divorce. Versus man can simply divorce you with the three talaq, and woman is not given right to propose to man. But she can. She can't. According to the Islamic tradition, she will be seen as a prostitute. No, no, but I will come to that way. I will come to that way. So, the woman can eventually and the hadith I read it to you from Sahih Bukhari. So that is similar. Okay, you are divorced. You married to him. Okay, you don't want to have sex with him. But. Because you don't want to have sex with him, he's, he's got already two kids, so he's capable to make babies, capable to have sex. Then he beats you and your skin is greener than your dress. So that doesn't mean you got beaten with toothbrush or with the top. You got beaten badly. Those bruises turn to the green. First they were black, blue, and then green. Now, Muhammad in here has an opportunity, okay? My understanding is Muslims look up Muhammad the way they would look up Allah. So Muhammad has an opportunity, turn to, turn, to, turn to the woman and then say, oh, there is an issue we need to talk, and then turn to the husband and then say, doesn't matter what is the, what is the reason. There is no place you can beat your wife the way you put her in blue, in green, okay? Don't do that. So if Muhammad said that, everything would be fine, okay? But what does Muhammad do? Does Muhammad turn to the man and then say, excuse me, that is wrong. Or does Muhammad say to the man, well done? What does Muhammad say to the man? So, sir, just a moment, just a moment. I am going to give you time. I said I will give you time. What does What did Muhammad give her? Yeah, so he doesn't confront him for his actions. He just says it's unlawful. He doesn't confront him for his actions and his action was so just a moment. I am gonna give you time. What you doing? I am gonna give you time. If he did confront you, you would say give you time. What did he console her? Sir, if it's I, if it's this way, it's not. What's your name? What's your name? What's your name? You were always fine. What's your name? Unknown, anonymous. Uh, uh, Mr. Anonymous. I'll call you unknown because I can't pronounce the second one. Anon. Anon. So.
Here's the problem. Here's the problem. You are not God. You don't know what is in my heart. You don't know what is in my mind. Therefore, you need to take the question as I am asking. And my question here is not what Muhammad was thinking, what, what is in my heart or in my mind. I am asking if you, if you see your mother is beaten by your father, what would you say to your mother or your father? Would you not confront them? Would you not go and give your mom a hug and then say, Mommy, it will be all right? Wouldn't you do that? So you would do that. What does Muhammad say to the man? Aisha, as the child wife of Muhammad, concerned for the woman. She, it, was, it says, the hadith I read it, it says, it was the practice of the woman that they would go and talk about those things. Aisha concerned, and then Aisha brought it to the Muhammad, whom she saw as perfect example to humanity. What did Muhammad do? Muhammad didn't even say to the man, don't beat your wife like that. So that wasn't enough. That's the question my brother asked you. That wasn't enough. This gentleman is already confirmed. Surah 434 gives right for husband to beat the wife. And then I can give you hadith after hadith, how you beat your wife. That's my first point. Okay, let me respond to the other point you made, that you cannot have sex without marriage. That's not true. In Islam, Islam allows you to have sex slaves. Their job is for you to have just sex. Who are not your wives. Okay, sir? Sir, in Ealing, ju sir, just wait, in just, wait, in just wait, just wait, just wait. So, apparently, I don't know in 2020, but in 2019, 19,000 girls were groom draped by followers of Islam. That's that point. Under, under, but under the rules that you mentioned, and they were all child. They were all they child. Were so, were you can have sex wrong. slaves. That is absolutely legitimate in Islam. In Islam, according to Surah 24, you can even do prostitution from those people. That's absolutely acceptable. Not only that, in Islam, so I don't know what was your intention when you get married. I hope that you said we will share the life together until we die. But in Islam, you can have a marriage only for three nights in the intention of having sex. So that you, I think it is not fair to Islam and the prophet of Islam to say, for you to say, actually sex takes place only within the marriage covenant. That's not true. So, I'll give you time to respond, but let me first take his comments. Yes, sir, what did point you wanted to make? I think we're allowed to leave now, to have to leave. Yeah. But I just want to say that when we come here, okay, like you said your points, but even with your points, it wouldn't make me like not bring into religion more, or like just step away from no, it and say, I don't no, care. No, no, what I wanted, what I wanted, uh, sorry, I, I, I think you are not going to get your timing for speak. All I need is you to do, like, of course, you can do whatever you want. This is the teachings of Islam. And I am afraid, according to teachings of Islam, I should not even be identifying as a Muslim woman because you are not covered up. According to Surah 33, verse 59, if you are not covered up, you should sin as a whole. That's a different topic. But those are the simple, so you can check it out. Those are the simple points I'm trying to make when you were trying to justify to my brother on the place of woman. All I, I need you to do, that's what I need you to do, but it is up to you what you want to do. Check it out and then ask the basic questions. Is this the dream you were brought up? But I know these, the things, these things are new to me, I know, but I'm still on the stage that I, I don't have all and, the answers about it. You know, I can't say, is this us? But it, it seems to me that your moral standards are much better than Allah and Muhammad. You would concern if you... Never. So it's not. This would so never be just, the case. So if you see your mother is beaten by your father and she's case. got all green bruises... This is one just case. Listen, it's not the one you case. Know, you we want me to give you another case. You know how bad... Do you want me to give you other cases? I didn't open the Bible and point at things. I'm like, I don't think this is Please do it. No, no, no. You have to do it. No. Here's the point. Here's the point. Overall, I'm Christian. I believe Islam is in a very dangerous ideology. It's not because. I am looking at this 100,000 girls, British white girls, who've been groomed 
I'm not talking about them, but I'm talking... It is Islam. I will make my case if you want, if you have time for that. But overall, I see Islam is taking people to hell. So let me ask you very basic question. That is the bottom line. When you live your life in the intention that you want to honor God, okay? You pray five times, you fast during the Ramadan, you give charity, you save up to go to Hajj because you want to honor God, you want to do your best. Why? What you are going to get at the end? Heaven. Tell me about the heaven. What is in heaven for you? Anything you please. Just, just a moment. Just a moment. I'm going to come to the man as well. No, what is it in heaven what for you? Gonna, I know what you're going to say. No, no. Well, I, don't, I know. Well, so as, a woman, okay. as a woman, as a woman, what are you going to get in heaven? Anything I like. Anything you like. Anything you like. So, are you going to get your husband in heaven if you like? If you, if you like being married, you would want your husband to be married with you in heaven, okay? Today, I don't know your heart, I don't know your practical life, but in the assumption of you are doing your best to honor Allah by worshipping Him, are you going to get Allah in paradise? In which way? Is Allah going to dwell with you in paradise? Dwell? Like, be with me? Like, yeah, dwell. Yeah. Like, Are you going to gonna see Allah? I think so, but the thing is... So is Allah going to that yes? Are you saying yes? But I don't know. So you don't know? Islam teaches no. Allah is not going to dwell with them. But here's, my, here's the thing. As a Muslim woman, you are designed for something beautiful. And I would assume that would be Allah you want to see, who you want to worship. Allah is not going to be there. And you know what? You know what? Just a moment. You know what? You will see him. You will see him as you would see the moon. Allah is not going to dwell with you. He's the bottom line. What is he going to get? Is he going to get you as a wife? If he wants. No. He's going to get 72 virgins. And it doesn't look like you are virgin. You are not going to be one of them since you are married. So. Where did you get but, 72 out of? So, it, that say, is very common. That, just a moment. If I say sir. I don't want that, will I still get it? Just a moment. So you are going to say Allah something, Allah commanded you, and now you are going to say, no, thank you, Allah? Is that what it is? Allah is that, has, is that what is your Allah has given me chicken, but I'm vegetarian. Sir, and I say, no, thank you, sir, Allah. Is this okay? In the eternity, are you going to say to the Allah, you don't want 72 virgins? So I'm going to say Second what I want. Just a moment. Second argument, yes. And Allah knows so you are what I want. Say, just a moment. <laughs> if Allah, Allah knows what I don't want. If Allah knows what you want, if Allah doesn't know, does, does know what you don't want, why is Allah offering you 72 virgins? He's why? offering me 95 if you want. He's no, 72. Me no, 72. 72 virgins. Just let, let me finish. You are going to get 72 virgins. 8,000 boys who are not going to bleed as they serve you. You will get eternal ser servants. You can get whatever you want. Those virgins, all those kind of things. But Allah is not going to be there. That's the bottom line. And from the teachings of the previous books, which is identified as the Torah, Zabur, and the Injil, according to you, you are not going to get any of those things because you are going to end up in hell. And in Islamic paradise, maybe you've got all those things looks pretty to the man, but there is nothing for you as a woman, and even God is not going to be there. Let's say, sake of the argument, while Islam teaches, because you have your periods and you are deficient in mind, you are not going to make the paradise. Sake of the argument, if you make the paradise, all you are going to do is watch your husband go and have sex with seven with seven well, thirty no, people. That's not in the Quran anywhere. That's written. It's not written that it's on a period that I can. In Christianity, I read that if you're a period. Sorry, what is not what is not in the Quran? It doesn't say anything about if you have a period, then you can't get to heaven. It doesn't say that. Did you read it then? Sorry. I read my Bible regularly. So can you give me the reference? Where is it in the Bible? We are not experts on that. Okay, just just one. Okay, God, I'm man, say just, one thing. man, just, I, I really have to go. We have to fight just, to catch. Honestly, there's no time. Man, you are gonna end up in hell if you continue to follow the teachings of Muhammad, 
and Islam. I'd rather be in hell and follow and believe that Jesus is a God ever. Thank you. Ever. Hey, you call your hijab next time. So she, she simply said she'd rather to be in hell to identifying Jesus as God. I think that is that is very, very awful because I think she thinks in hell she's gonna dance with her husband as the first day of the wedding forever. I think she thinks in hell she's gonna get the virgins which she didn't she didn't get in paradise. Hell is an awful place. And, and if Muslim thinks that hell is better place than meeting with God himself in heaven, I've got nothing to, to say but to just identify them. That's what makes individuals a sinful, sinful people. They can't even see the beauty of God. Isn't that so sad? But let me let me just I just ask you to in the intention, but she walked away. She was asking the question in Christianity, it is in the apparently Bible that if woman is having her period, husband can't even be in the same room with her. Oh really? I, sorry, I, I read I read my Bible quite often and regularly, daily. Uh, I wasn't aware of that verse. Yeah. I just thought I skipped it, but she needed to go to catch her flight. Yeah. I assume that that verse is yeah, not there. Yeah, just, yeah. <laughs> Bottom line is this, brother. Can you just summarize for me the conversation you had with the couple? Yeah, so I mean, the conversation initially started off with love. You know, because you see, he mentioned that, I think he mentioned one of our brothers, Daniel, that he's um, he has a lot of hate for Islam. And I said, okay. Let's look at what true um, hatred is. And so we start to look at the life of Muhammad. And then what we did is we do a comparison with Muhammad, who's the role model for Islam, and Jesus Christ, who's our role model, who's our teacher, who's our Lord, who's the one that we see as God. And so as we drew a comparison, we could see that there was clearly huge uh, disparity between this perfect God man and this immoral Muhammad and what you'd even find is that a lot of times for example um, some of these guys they would sit make mention of something like I would never have sex with a nine-year-old child but then their prophet did and I would keep pointing out that every time they made a moral um, claim I'd say well hold on you have better room um, you're, you're a better model than your own um, your own prophet and this hopefully will give them an opportunity to be able to look and reflect and say well hold on if you have um, Jesus Christ and you have Muhammad and you have a better role model than Jesus Christ, why should we follow Muhammad instead? And so this is kind of really where the conversation was going and obviously it went to different places and then we started to speak about the morality of how women, um, sorry, Muhammad allowed women to be treated and then I think that's where you came along. But the point is this, is that look, every one of us is sinful, the Bible says. The Bible says that all have sinned. Yes? Sinners. Sin sinners, yes. We've all sinned, okay? We've sinned and we and we deserve punishment for our sins, yes? But God has sent his only son, Jesus Christ, as, uh, a, 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 as an atonement, as a sacrifice for our sins. And unless we repent, unless we turn away from that sin, unless we put our faith and our trust in our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, we are all damned for hell. And what the Bible says is that 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 God is faithful and just. If we will turn away from our sins, to forgive us of our sins, but cleanse us of all unrighteousness. And what I'll say for every Muslim is to turn away from this false religion, false um, Islam and false prophet Muhammad, and put their faith and their trust in the one that lived a perfect life, the one who died for their sins, the one who really cares about them and loves them, and give their life to Jesus Christ. God bless.